So use the batch model to control a set of test sockets that test multiple UUTs as a group. For example, if we have a set of circuit boards attached to a common carrier, we can use the batch model to ensure that we start and finish testing all boards at the same time. With the synchronization features of the batch model, we can direct a step that applies to the batch as a whole to run only once per batch instead of once for each UUT. We can also specify whether certain steps or groups of steps cannot run on more than one UUT at a time or whether certain steps must run on all UUTs at the same time. The batch model generates batch reports that summarize the test results for the UUTs in the batch. In this video, we will use the batch UUT sequence. Using the test UUTs entry point of the batch model. So we do not need to change the default process model in the sequence editor for uh, this uh, example. The batch UUT sequence file uses batch model regardless of the default model of the sequence editor. We can use the sequence file properties and then we can go to the advanced and there we can we have set the um, batch model sequence as the as the uh, batch model as the model that the this uh, batch UUT sequence file uses. So let's go to the configure and from there let's go to the model options. This launches the model options dialog box. Here let's set the in the multiple UUT settings section, let's set the number of test sockets to 2. And let's enable the tile execution window. The number of test sockets specifies the number of UUTs to test in the batch. In the batch settings, let's set default batch synchronization to don't synchronize and let's click OK. So let's go to execute and let's launch test UUTs. So the UUT information dialog box launches. Let's specify a batch serial number. And we can specify the UUT serial number. And we can also disable the test socket from here. We had already specified that we want to test two UUTs. So this dialog box is coming from the uh, batch uh, sequence uh, execution model. Let's go to click the go. Mm -hmm. 
the batch model example dialog box launches let's click ok and tests are launching the first UT test is launching for the pulse response test now the second UUT is being tested frequency sweep test is being launched And now the batch results have uh, appeared. Here we can uh, either go to next batch or we can view the uh, batch uh, report. Let's watch the. We can select from view batch report. We can select entire file or the uh, current only. Let's watch the current only. Internet Explorer launches. So test stand launches the default application associated with the file extension of the report. For example, Internet Explorer is associated with automatic test markup language, ATML, XML, and HTML reports, and Microsoft Notepad for text-based reports. So the run scripts dialog box uh, appears. Let's click yes. And the test report uh, appears. Let's also go back and check the entire file. Let's allow the scripts to run. and the entire report is in front of us uh, we can also uh, use external viewers by going to configure and from there selecting external viewers using this uh, dialog box we can set other viewers uh, other than the default internet explorer and notepad uh, viewers from here so let's run another batch Let's click go. Okay.
so we can view the report again And then in the next batch we can just close it up and the reports for each test now appears in their respective sections So after we are done, we can close all windows.